Hello students, in this video we'll see how to solve problem 5.3.9. Problem 5.3.9 asks us to solve x squared y double prime plus 5xy prime minus 5y equals 0 given that y equals x solves the equation. So what we do is we're given one solution to a second order equation, we can use reduction of order. So reduction of order tells us to look for a solution y, which is of a product form. It's of the form a function of x times the solution you know. So for us, this will be v of x, a function of x, times x, the solution we know. So if y is equal to x times v of x, then y prime will be v plus x v prime by the product rule. And y double prime will be v prime plus x v prime plus v prime, or x, that would be a x, that's a double prime. And then I will have x v double prime plus 2 v prime. And we'll plug this back into our original equation. So if we plug this back in, we have x squared times x v double prime plus 2 v prime plus 5x times v plus x v prime minus 5 times x v equals 0. And we look over here, notice that there is a 5xv over here and a negative 5xv over here. Those terms will cancel out, and those are the only terms that involve v. The reduction of order method tells us that when we plug it back into the original equation, the terms that only have v, not v prime or v double prime, should always cancel out. That's a clue if we're doing the problem correctly. So now if we simplify this, we will have x cubed v double prime, then I have 2x squared v prime, and then I'll have a 5x squared v prime, that's a total of 7x squared v prime equals 0, and that accounts for all of our terms. I can cancel out an x squared, and I will have, and divide by x cubed, to make this a linear form, this is v double prime plus 7 over x v prime equals 0. And we can solve this equation for v by using an integrating factor. Our integrating factor will be e to the integral of 7 over x dx, which we know is e to the 7 log of x, or just x to the 7th power by properties of logarithms. So if we multiply that, we'll have a v double prime times x to the seventh power plus 7x to the sixth power v prime equals zero, which is d by dx of x to the seventh times v prime equals zero. That tells me that x to the seven v prime is a constant, since the derivative of something being zero implies that something's a constant, which tells me that v prime is c, x to the negative seven. And if I integrate this, I will get v equals a constant c, an antiderivative of x to the negative 7 is going to be x to the negative 6. And when I divide by the negative 6, I can incorporate that into the constant. And then I'll put another constant over here, c2. So to delimit these constants, I'll call this c1. And I'll call this constant over here c2. Now we can plug this back into the original formula. So our solution y is vx. We know that v is c1, x to the negative 6, plus c2, times x. So we can see that I get the c2x, which is part of my original solution, and this additional solution, which we will find, which is independent of the solution x, which is x to the negative fifth power. Thank you very much.